everyone, I am the Dragon Skull, and welcome to another episode of Demon Senpai. I asked you guys to send me a lot of questions, and boy did you send me a lot of questions. Because I wasn't expecting to make another one so soon. Also, today is, is also Valentine's Day. How weird that I'm doing a Q&A on Valentine's Day of all days. Especially since I got some Valentine's Day related questions as well. So... And for those of you who are new here and have no idea what this is, Demon Senpai is a Q&A series where you guys get to ask me questions and I answer them for you in this video. And I got a lot of questions to go through today, I got a couple on my YouTube comments, and I got a couple in my Discord chat as well. Also, also before I start, for those of you who want to ask me some questions for the next Demon Senpai, either leave them in the comment section of this video down below, or you can go to my Discord server and ask, and ask my questions there in the Q&A chat. The link to my Discord server will be in the description below. If you haven't joined yet, please go join now. And if you don't have Discord, get Discord and then go join. I highly recommend it. Discord is a really good server. So go join Discord right now. And with that out of the way, let's move on to let's go on to the questions. We're gonna start off by asking the questions in the la in the comment section of the last demon senpai, then A. And the first First three, qu three questions are by Eleni again. Boy, you ask a lot of questions in every video. And the first question is, what do you like to do on Valentine's Day? Well, I don't... Pr Valentine's Day to me is pretty much just a normal day where I just do nothing and watch TV and play games and do videos if, in my free time if I have any. I don't really celebrate a Valentine's Day. I don't think I've ever celebrated one all my life. Mostly because I don't have anyone to celebrate Valentine's Day with. So who knows? Maybe one day if I ever do get a girlfriend, I I would um, um celebrate Valentine's Day for a change. Although I don't like Valentine's Day because Valentine's Day to me is just a sad reminder for all single people that they're single. Well, for people who, who have someone in their lives, it's just, they're just reminded that they're together. So, pretty much, on Valentine's Day, I don't really do much, because I don't celebrate it. And the next question by Lenny is, Where would you take your Valentine for a date? Well, again, I don't have a girlfriend. But if I do have a girlfriend, although I do have Rhea serving right there, eh? Yeah, you guys remember Rias from my other Valentine's Day video? So I still have her for now. So, I'll put you here. Huh? But yeah, to answer your question, where would I take my Valentine for a date? Hmm. Well, I guess um, somewhere nice, like, um, a, like I go out for a, to the parks or something. Or maybe take I take them to Alton Towers, some place love related. And I do something to surprise my Valentine Day. I mean, I remember one time when in, in Greece they have these nice beachside restaurants, so I could take her to there. Yeah. It depends on what my Valentine in, sees in a um, good um, Valentine for va Valentine date. Alright, and the next question by Eleni is, Who was your very first anime slash cartoon crush? And please answer honestly, no matter how embarrassing it may be. Hmm, well, it's hard to remember, but I think um, my very first anime waifu or crush was um, Dark Magician Girl from Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't know why, when I was little I always had a thing for her. And I, and as for cartoon crush, um, I don't know. I've seen many, many cartoons as a kid, so it's hard for me to remember them all. Um, I guess for cartoon, I guess I, I'll say Kim Possible. I used to be a big Kim, Kim Possible fan when, when growing up. There were also the Powerpuff Girls, but they're but they're little, they're too young, so. Impossible with my cartoon and um, and Dark Magician Girl was my very first um, anime crush. Okay, and 
next question. Oh. All the questions on the YouTube comments are by Lenny, and all the other comments are just people saying that they like my new look. Thank you for those of you who say that. I'm glad people like it. I was worried I might get some um, people saying that they like m my old look better, but I'm glad you guys like the new one. Alright, and the last question by Lenny is, how many push-ups can you do? I have no idea, but I'm going to find out for you right now. Uh, I'll take my hat off for this as well. All right, guys, I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna see how many push-ups I can do uh, to answer a lady's question. Right, here So to answer your question, Eleni, I, I was able to do 15 push-ups. 16 if you count um, that drop I did. Ugh, my arm, my hands hurt now. Just, look up, look up, look up my arms. I just, I don't lift. I really need to, to get some more exercise though. Ugh. Alright, moving on to the next question. Alright. Now that that's out of the way, it's time to move on to the Discord questions now. And there are a lot to go through in this room. The very first question is by my good friend Tearing, who has been a big help to me on, the, on this channel. And he asks, what series are ongoing on the channel right now? I'm glad you asked that. Well, I still have to finish the um, Spyro Reignited trilogy, so the next level play I'm going to be doing is Spyro 3 Year of the Dragon. After that, I'm going to be playing Detroit Become Human, which I'm most looking forward to playing. And then after that, I'm going to be playing Marvel Spider-Man, the new Spider-Man on the PS4. As what I'm going to play afterwards, I don't know. Although, I might have something special in mind. I might, um, I'm thinking of creating a poll of, um, where you guys get to vote on what game I get to play after Spider-Man. Because I have um, gotten some really old games on a, my PlayStation Now account. Um, so, and, and I'm thinking of doing Let's Plays on those. And I'm thinking of letting you guys choose what, what to play. There's also, um, there's also a couple of games that just came out that I want to play. Like Jump Force. So I'm thinking of playing that on the channel as well. Because it's an anime game. And the last anime game I played was Attack on Titan. So it'd be nice to play another one. And there's also The Last of Us Part 2 that I do want to play on the channel once it comes out. Sadly, one game I'm not going to be playing on my channel is Kingdom Hearts 3. I have the game, but I'm not going to play it for you guys for um, f three reasons. One, that I don't want to get copyright strikes from all the Disney related stuff in it. Two, it's a very long game, even longer than God of War, and I don't want to be here all day. Uh, all week or maybe a month completing it for you guys and three it's a very complicated game to do a let's play on since there's, lo there's lots of farming and um exp and all that stuff uh, to do and i don't want you to um do it in front of you guys because i'm not that good i'm not good at this stuff i have played the first in kingdom hearts and the second one but i, used, I mostly played them with a friend of mine because he's an expert on kingdom hearts and he knows what to do and what not to do in them. So if I'll be playing Kingdom Hearts 3 by myself with my friends to see how well I do in it. Sorry for you people who want to see me play Kingdom Hearts. But yeah, those are all the things on, on I have planned. And again, I will be creating a poll for um, what Let's Plays I should do after Spider-Man, and I'll leave the link to it in the description below, so you guys can go on down there and vote which um game you'd like me to play after Spider-Man. 
Alright, the next um, question is by my, my friend Ristian. Um, and he asks, what is that soundtrack in the background? Oh, this one that's playing right now? Oh, it's a soundtrack, um, I, it's called Crimson Fly, I think it's called. It's the soundtrack that uh, Markiplier used in one of his old videos. I figured I'd use it for the background music in my Q&A videos, because, well, I always like the sound of that. And it's completely copyright free as well. So, win-win. Okay, next question is by Ash66. And he put, Why, why do you wear a mask in your videos? Are you a hollow? Yes, I am. I'm wearing a hollow pretty much. I always wear a mask in my videos. And one day I do plan on um, doing a face reveal for you guys, but I feel like I'm not at that point yet, because I feel like you, I, you guys need to earn that. Like, once I've gained a certain number of subscribers. When I originally planned to do a, uh, a face reveal, I was planning on doing it when I got a million subscribers, but because of the um, growth rate of my channel, I doubt that's ever going to happen, so maybe a thousand subscribers would be better. Because it would take a while for me to get a thousand subscribers, unless I somehow manage to gain them in a few days. God, that would be a miracle. Alright, next question is also by Ash66, and he put, Would you survive Attack on Titan? Um, well... I don't know, probably not, because, well, I need to I need to teach myself how to use the um, ODM gear in Attack on Titan, and even with that training, I st I, there's, there's still a very slim chance of me actually surviving the Titans, because, well, I mean, I've played the Attack on Titan game on my channel, and I'm pretty good at it, so maybe I could survive it. Unless I was able to gain Titan shifting powers, then I'd, I'd definitely be able to survive. I, w I always imagined what I'd look like as a Titan shifter. I even drew a, did a drawing of what I'd look like as a Titan shifter. Sadly, I don't have it for you guys, but it was pretty cool. I was a Titan that had massive wings and I could fly. The winged Titan, I called myself. Well, I, I did that first, so anyone watching, copyright. <laughs> Alright. Next question is by Vince, and he put, I love the mask, but why is it, but why is that your favourite mask? Mine is Majora's mask. Ah, well, the hollow mask that I'm wearing for in my videos, it's, it's, a, it's pretty much a representation of my love for the, the anime Bleach. Bleach is my all-time favourite anime ever, and no anime will ever top it as my number one favourite. Though I have seen many other anime that were really good, but Bleach has always like, been my number one favourite. As for the Hollow Mask and why I chose it in my videos, it's because I've always loved its design. The, the white um, skeletal-like appearance and the, and, the, and the stripes on one side. It's, all, it's just really cool to look at. Masks, some um, in my opinion, are the, one of the best things to ever be created by humanity. Because I find masks way more expressive than faces, and very pretty to look at as well. well plus, it, it has been a big help to me as well. Because, well, uh, I wear a mask on YouTube because when I, very, when I first started YouTube, I was too sh scared of the camera and I was too shy to show my face. But wearing a mask helped me in that age, and I didn't feel scared anymore. And I still wear a mask today because that's what you guys are used to seeing. You guys are used to seeing me with a mask and you love me to be like this. And I, and I appreciate that a lot. Next question is by Ash again. And he put, um, um, could you do a video on what um, bleach captains you like the most? Or um, best bleach girl? Hmm, well... I don't know, I, I, could, I mean, I guess I could do a video, like, I could do maybe a top 10 of my favourite captains and from Bleach, or my favourite um, Bleach girls. Although, I'm not at the point where I know how to do top 10s and, and commentate my voice over it yet. But I am trying to f uh, find um, ways of doing it. Well, recently I discovered this um, website called Skillshare, which is teaching me how to do um, better video editing. So, I, w I do plan on doing top 10s in the future, and other videos, 
discussion videos are something I don't do often, but I would like to do one. I like talking about stuff that I like, and talking about stuff I dislike as well. I even have a series in mind where I, where I do um, talk about stuff I don't like. But I'm not going to tell you guys about it yet, because it's going to be a surprise for when I reveal it. And um, to answer your question, who is the best anime girl in Bleach? Ooh, that's a tough one. There are a lot of really hot, hottie days in Bleach. I guess if I had to pick one to be my favourite, it would have to be... Yorichi. Because, well, she is really hot, and she, um, she, she can turn into a cat, so she gets bonus points for that. And, plus, she is very funny, and I feel like um, if I met her in real life, she'd be someone I'd get along with really well. And I also like how, in the anime, she teases Ichigo, and the very first time Ichigo saw Yorichi in her true human form, she was completely naked, and Ichigo was like, Jesus, woman, could you please put some clothes on? He was like, oh, you haven't seen a naked woman before? <laughs> oh, God, it's so funny. Although, I, al I also like Nemu Kurotsuchi. I remember when I first watched Bleach, I, I did um, have a bit of an emotional attachment to her, even though she um, she's a girl who has no emotion at all. I don't know why that is. Alright. Moving on. Next question is by Mercer81. And he puts... Would you rather kill yourself, or commit suicide? <laughs> Those are pretty much the same thing! Killing yourself and committing suicide are the exact same thing. God, what is that question? <sighs> but, to answer it, I guess, kill myself. Because after reading that question, I would rather kill myself. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright, there's another question by uh, Merce81. He put, Did you know that if your hand is bigger than your face, you're gay? Uh... Um, well... My face is slightly bigger, so I'm not gay. So... Yay! <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> Moving on! Ah! Here's, here's another question. This one is by my, my good friend Wolfie Toe. And he asks, ask, um, You should, um, are you going to um, have um, guests on your channel? Yes, I do want to have uh, guests on my channel one day. Hell, heck, I might even um, have a guest for my next Q&A video. What do you guys think? Should I have a, a guest on my next Q&A video? Also, who should it be? Like, do you want me to have um, a friend or maybe one of my family members in the show as well? Because my mum watches these videos and she did um, suggest that she would like to be in one of my videos at some point. So what do you guys think? Should I do a Q&A with my mum or my sister or my friends? Tell me in the comments below and I'll be sure to do it for the next Q&A. And if you do want that, please be sure to leave questions for my, my friends and family as well. Well, you can ask them anything you want, but please keep your questions PG-13, okay? No inappropriate questions. Alright, and now on to the very last question of today's is episode. And it's by Mercer81 once again. And he put, Have you ever said something stupid and afterwards thought to yourself, What the fuck, brain? <laughs> yep. I've had that, that moment a lot of times. I have that moment a lot when I do one um, commentary in my um in my Let's Play videos. Like sometimes I say things and I'm like, why did I say that? And I even have a lot of moments where I repeat some words I've already said. I don't know why. It's just my brain isn't good at processing words good when I'm playing games. Because if there's one thing I'm not that good at, it's multitasking. Like I can't focus on g playing a game and commentating at the same time. I mean, some of my commentary is decent, but it's not that good compared to other Let's Players. Because I'm not that good at multitasking. It's because of my autism, that's why. Anyway, that is going to do it for today's episode of Demon Senpai. I hope you guys enjoyed, I definitely did. I'm glad I got so many new questions to ask during this video. 
And as, like I said before, if you guys want to ask me um, questions for the next Q&A, leave them in the comment section down below, or go ask, or leave them in, in my Discord server. And as I said before, if you guys want me to feature um, friends or, or family in my next Q&A video, please let me know in the comments below as well, and I'll be sure to make it happen. Also, tell me who you wanted to be. Like, do you want it to be my mum, or do you want it to be a friend? I'm not going to do my sister though, because I don't know if she'll want to be a part of my videos, but my mum is definitely down for it, and my mum is probably watching this video right now, so, my mum. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video, if you liked it, please leave a like, subscribe to my channel for more videos, and I will see you all next time, peace.